<sighs> okay, so I'm starting this again. I messed it up before. Okay, so working with Hebrew in Emacs is annoying. I want to watch this. Okay, I'm using Control N for some reason. It doesn't show up in the log. Oh, Control N, Control P. Sorry, Control F. I get to here. What's gonna happen? Oh, uh, this is because I've got my magic thing turned on. Yeah, that's not the default behavior. Okay, this is the default behavior. Okay, this is Hebrew text here. Okay, control forward. Okay, here. What? Jump to the end of the line. Now it's going backwards. Same key, just control forward. It's going to the, end of, to the next line and in the middle of the line. Oh, what? This is just a mess. Editing text. If you're right, if I'm writing in mixed languages, yeah, that would be really annoying. And what? Yeah, how do you switch this? Control, control back slash. And, nope. Um, control minus slash. Like, okay. Uh, Shava needed. Uh, uh, and then you see uh, on the other side. Uh, Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's actually not so bad. Now when I now I'm using uh, previous and next. Oh, that's weird. But I did um, back, back, and forward works. And what's neat is the arrow keys actually are working in the right direction. Oh, it's using this stupid. Uh, Font here. It's not a fix with font. I'm gonna have to need to. I'm gonna need to fix that in a second. Uh, later, not now. See, that's neat. Uh, forward and back. And this is going back, and look, that's actually pretty good. Go to the end of the line, the beginning line. Here, I go to the end of the line, beginning of the line. That's fine. End of the line. What? End of the line. Beginning of the line. Here. And the line, beginning the line, but in the middle of the sentence. Now let's try and add some English in here. Oh, how do you switch back? Uh, I go input method. Type it either Hebrew or Hebrew. <laughs> Ah, that's why. Because I forgot that. Okay. Uh, okay. See, I went backward and went to the. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you can see this is annoying. What I've done, especially if you put this in a variable, oh, that's going to be the worst. Okay. So first we gotta put this back, write some English here, so this is English. Now let's just make a set Thank you. Uh, some var. And then I wanna put Hebrew in quotes here. Uh, Yiddish, but uh, the same type of thing. This is, makes it even more annoying to work with. That was it. Uh, so I have my sunbar, but I get to the end here. How, how do I? Uh, annoying. So there is a variable. Let's just take like a look at the definition of a variable. No. Um, by the display, we or, display rewarding, and. Um, <clears throat> what this does is it, it tells Emacs whether it should try to look ahead and um, set the direction correctly for bidirectional text. And that's what it says here. And I'm ordering bidirectional text to display in visual order. So I don't want that. Let's go back here. Uh, let's actually go back to my 
frog mode. And you see that I wrote this function, which is to toggle between a bidirectional ordering. Uh, and what this does is it just sets it to the inverse, whatever it is, and it gives me a message of what it is. So let's take it back to our scratch buffer and I can run that by my toggle. You see that? Now everything's written. doesn't matter what is written from left to right, like English. So this makes everything more consistent. Yeah, everything is more consistent. Here I can mark the region. Now, it is important to notice that this is, you would usually read this the other way. That should be avort, not trova. Trova. But this, I think this is going to be really useful for me. And another thing to pay attention to is that uh, the bidirectional um, display reordering can also really impact performance, especially when you're talking about um, when you're dealing with long lines. Um, I'm not going to show an example, but if you've done any work with AMAX, you know that long lines really are not fun. Um, okay, there is another thing that turn this back on. And there is another variable, which is by the paragraph direction. Now this will uh, this will set the uh, the direction the the direction of the the paragraphs. So sometimes, like if I'm mostly writing in Hebrew, I'm always going to want all my paragraphs written from right to left. That's going to be the default. So I've got that on. And let's see. That's uh, I think I had it right in the sec here. right to left okay so everything here is that's gonna be the default for our paragraphs is right to left and if I'm writing mostly in English So sometimes I might have a Hebrew word in there in the middle or a Yiddish word in the middle, but I, I want mostly the text to be written that way. This is really going to be helpful in like writing org mode documents when I'm writing them in Hebrew. Sometimes at the start, at the beginning, it it doesn't know what to do. So it keeps it'll give my documents a consistency. Um, so I don't think I'm ever going to want that to be automatic. I think I'm going to want to set that myself. So let's, let's actually write another function to do that for toggle paragraph direction. Uh, reordering. And okay, so this thing, um, by default, Emacs tries to guess. Direction. What do we get up? It's up with mix. Mixed up looking buffers. So we want to turn that off. We want to explicitly set what the by day text is. Um, was that meta queue?
So first thing we want to do, like this one, and then, uh, and okay. So the first thing we want to do is to set Q. Now somebody's calling me. Okay, I'm going to stop this now. I will continue it in part two.